Hi, I'm Tim Troyer. I'm the founder of The Reckoning International, which is a faith-based development organization. We work in third world countries helping poor entrepreneurs start businesses and do different kinds of development projects. I'm also a part-time knife maker and uh, have the privilege of being tutored by uh, Rick Hinder of Worcester, Ohio, who's really helped me a lot over the years to learn to make knives and to make them right. Back in the late 90s, we were working in Nepal, which is a small country between India and China, and we found out that about 150,000 people in Nepal from a people group called the Taru people were in a slavery system called the Kamaya system. And I was really shocked because I thought, you know, slavery had disappeared with the uh, you know, end of the Civil War in the U.S. or the invention of refrigeration or something like that. But there are actually a lot of slaves today. In fact, many believe there are more slaves today than any other time in history. And we found out in Nepal that these people, these Taru people who were in this slavery system called the Kamaya system, that one day a year called Magi, you could redeem these slaves from their masters. So we did a redemption project to uh, buy some people out of slavery. And I really wanted to do something. Um, we had a lot of generous donors, but I wanted to do something personally. And so I went to a good friend of mine, Paul Weaver, who's the owner of Weaver Leather, and uh, talked to Paul about it. And Paul said, Tim, I wanna help you be a donor. And, uh, but what I'd like is for you to make me some knives. And so he wanted me to make two knives for him. This is one of the knives I made in 1999 and um, this knife is kind of my version of an old knife set made by Case and um, it has a, a detachable knife blade and then in the back uh, a, a little hatchet and you'll see pictures of it in the video. And so I went to Rick and I said, hey Rick, I need some help. I drew up the knives. Rick helped me kind of make sure the design would work and then he profiled the parts for me on his CNC machining center at the time. So Rick profiled out the parts and helped me with that. And then I took them, you know, home to my shop and ground them out and finished the knives. Gave the knives to Paul. We sent the money to Nepal and we redeemed people out of slavery. And you'll see also some of their photos in the video. Well, a couple years ago, Paul told me, he said, Tim, if you ever want to take that knife and sell it again, you're welcome to have it. I would rather have it go to a good cause than just be sitting in my gun safe at home. And, you know, I thought about that and just kind of forgot it. And then here recently, in the last month or so, there's been some terrible earthquakes in Nepal. The first earthquake that came destroyed a lot of buildings, historical uh, monuments, and killed a lot of people. Over 8,000 people were killed and about 17,000 or more hurt and injured. And then just a short time ago, there was another aftershock which killed more people and injured others as well. And I thought of Paul's knife. So I talked to Paul and I said, Paul, I think this is the time for us to do something. This knife was sold once. This very knife was used to buy people out of slavery in Nepal. And we want to auction this knife off again. I talked to Rick Hinder, I talked to Paul, and I said, let's get together, let's auction off this knife, let's take the proceeds, and let's help the people in Nepal whose lives have been tragically altered by this terrible earthquake. This knife will come also with a framed uh, document. It's an actual receipt from redeeming people, from buying people out of slavery. And um, it's an original, it's not a copy, it's the actual receipt for people that we redeemed. It'll also have some historical photos and be just matted and framed in a tremendously gorgeous way. Hi, Tim. Hey, this is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, my mind goes back many, many years to when we made, when I had you make this product, and it was to redeem slaves from Nepal. And I was so taken aback by the cause that you had that I wanted something in return because I knew you made knives. So I said, hey, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll help you but I would like to have this made in return. And I want to tell you, Tim Troyer and Rick Hender did a fantastic job on this thing. And the fact is, I never used it because I thought it was too pretty. But whoever buys it should probably use it because it's very, very well made and it's sharp. So, hey, thank you again. I hope this is going to do double good for the next round 
of people who are going to benefit from this. So the idea was for uh, for freeing some slaves from Nepal, which uh, we've never, Lori and I have never heard anything like that before that, that went on in the world. So, of course, immediately I was like, yeah, what, what can I do, you know, uh, for this project? So I had... At the time I just got in a CNC machine and um, I was just kind of starting to learn it myself when you came along and so I thought wow this would be a lot of fun so so I uh, we, we drew it up in CAD and I threw my ideas in there and uh, what I thought maybe would be a good you know a good way to, to do this project and um, with a lot of a lot of sweat even though it was CNC and a lot of uh, um, I don't know it was kind of tough so but we knocked it out you did a fantastic job on obviously laying everything out doing the handle and uh, yeah it, it, it came out perfect it came out perfect and I didn't know really until not that long ago exactly the impact that the work that uh, both of us did on on this project very noble project not too many people can say that they've worked on something uh, that bought a human human being out of slavery, so it's pretty pretty touching. So, and I'm really both Lori and I both are really appreciative that you brought us in on this project because, again, it's uh, what an opportunity opportunity to help somebody, uh, especially in that dire of situation. So, as far as uh, where we're at now from 15 years ago. With Mr. Weaver actually donating this knife back to help another great cause, which is the people of Nepal. And Tim, you, you what a brilliant idea of actually putting the two together through the years and taking from back then and all the work that you've done with the reckoning from that this very first project to now helping the people that really need help in Nepal. And for Mr. Weaver to, to donate this back, um, to be able to, to, to come up with the, the package that you've put together is fantastic. And I'm again, very thrilled to be a part of it. If you're watching this video, I would encourage you to be a part of that whole uh, auction and bidding process. Our plan is to uh, auction this knife at the Blade Show in Atlanta this year, 2015 in June, and possibly be able to do that online as well. So hope someone out there who's watching this is just gonna have a hankering to add this to your collection, and that a lot of people bid, and we can do a lot of good for the people of Nepal.